Hi everyone, welcome back to the Pajama Travel Club. I'm Eric Weiner, and yes, I am still wearing my pajamas. Same care, pair of a nice cotton poly blend. I hope wherever you are, you're safe, and you're at home, and you're in your pajamas. So again, the Pajama Travel Club is a way to see the world from the comfort of your home and your pajamas. So today I want to take you to one of my favorite countries, Japan. I actually lived in Japan for several years and I have to say when I first got there I was a bit put off by Japanese politeness. They are exceedingly polite. They have layers and layers of polite phrases on top of polite phrases and at first this bothered me because I always as an American associated this sort of extra politeness with a kind of mm, insincerity. But as I lived in Japan, I began to appreciate their politeness for what it was, which was a kind of social lubricant. It um, sort of made every interaction a little bit more pleasant um, by going uh, that extra mile to be polite with someone. And the other thing about Japan that I particularly like is the way their philosophy is written without words, right? Usually when you think of philosophy, you think of long, tomes, some of which I have on my bookshelf here, written by dead white men. But Japanese philosophy, a large part of it at least, is a kind of aesthetic philosophy where meaning is conveyed through objects, wordlessly. Um, the, the, the Japanese have a way of conveying meaning and beauty through the objects, whether it's a, it's a flower arrangement or a beautiful pair of chopsticks or a perfectly arranged plate of sushi. And we're going to be joined in a few minutes uh, by my good friend Junko Takahashi, who lives in Tokyo. She's a translator and an author. She's written a wonderful book about the Japanese way of happiness. And we're going to talk to her about how the Japanese are coping and thriving during the age of COVID-19.